Um, PG. Pretty girl. Pretty girl? That's a cute one. But no. What, PG? That's pregnant. Um, DSD. Dear stepdaughter. <laughs> um, how about BPP? This one's hard. And I'll tell you, it's not biophysical um, stress, which is like a stress test you take when you're pregnant. It's not that. BPP. This is bitter poor person. Okay. This is an upper class kind of conversation about, um, especially based in New York, about parenting. They tend to talk about household income, HHI, things like that. How about TT? It's not tenure track. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible twos was a good guess. It'll be better. TT is top tier preschools. Again, New York City focus. Um, and this language is fairly pervasive on parenting sites. So DH would be dear husband. And what is interesting about this language is that it is pervasive and people learn the norms very quickly and stick to them. So across um, the data set I collected, there is over 40,000 references to DH in the context of dear husband. There was 48 references to spelled out the language of dear husband, meaning that people come to the site, they observe it, and then they learn the language of DH and use it. Okay, So the difference is pretty astounding. Um, this is also one of the first quantitative studies of this online language among parents um, to show that this kind of norms of language exist. OK, another question. Do mothers express more anger about their husbands or about their children on this site? 50-50 shot. Husbands? Husbands. 